Hey party peeps, Manga Man here. Excuse the fan noise in the background, it's a uh, rather hot night. Uh, anyways, uh, I just was informed by one of my fans about this new anime that just came out called Dog X Scissors. And they wanted to know what I thought about it. Originally I was just gonna type up my reaction to this anime, but after watching the first episode I decided that I had to say something about it. So consider this like a mini review. For animes, especially comedy animes, it's a very tricky thing to handle. In fact, any comedy is tricky for any reviewer to tackle. Because if you don't find it funny, that does not necessarily mean that there aren't people out there that may find this funny. But I'm just going to lay it right on out here. I didn't laugh once at Dog X Scissors. Hell, I didn't even chuckle or giggle. Not even a mild <laughs> And I think it's mostly due to the fact that I just didn't find any of their humor funny at all. So, what's the story about? Well, in a brief rundown, our main character... I'm just going to read the summary right here. A nonsense, a nonsense comical mystery. Harumi Kazuhito is a high school boy who loves books and is a fan of novelist Natsuno Kirihime. One day, he finds Kirihime riding at a cafe, about to be shot by a robber. He protects her from the attack, but is killed instead. Through the supernatural power of a bookworm, uh, he is reincarnated as a duction dog, or wiener dog. Kazuhito, as a dog, writes rithers in a painful, bookless life when a when a sadistic woman carrying a pair of scissors offers him help. She is, she is Kirihime herself. So a couple things about this. When this Kirihime broad is about to be shot by this robber, this robber says, like, come on, put your hands up, or like, get up, get up, and she's just sitting there just writing away. And it's like, the guy fires a warning shot, and she still doesn't do anything. And when... The guy is, like, struggling with this robber to try to get the gun away, and then after he shot, she still doesn't get up. And this isn't even for a comedic response. I, I would understand if they did this to be like, oh, she's so into, oh, she's so into her work that she doesn't even get up. But no, this, this bitch doesn't even flinch at the gunshot. Nothing. And I cannot understand that. I did not find that interesting. I did not find that funny at all. And, this whole, and the whole idea is that this this guy, this... Looking at the summary again here. Uh, Kazu, Kazuhito. Kazuhito. Uh, wanting to... Doesn't want to die because he still wants to read this book in a series called Deadly Sins that hasn't come out yet called Lust. Ooh, it, ooh, the author is actually the same s sadistic woman with a pair of scissors. I mean, honestly, what's with animes nowadays and putting sadistic women or strange girls with scissors? This happened, this happened also in Mysterious Girlfriend X. Okay, now this might just be me personally, but if I were in Kazuhito's position, regardless of how much I love reading, and... Don't get me wrong. I love reading. Okay. Hell, I have books on my nightstand right here that I'm still reading. Regardless of that, I think I would have a few more priorities, such as, Oh God, I don't want to die, I'm still a virgin. That didn't even cross his mind. He even had flashbacks to, like, his family his friends no reaction he's like oh yeah mom and dad my little cat Tama the girl from school who says she's sorry for breathing the same air I didn't find that funny at all and then like oh my god I'm not gonna be able to read anymore Oh, the humanity! Forget my family and friends, but please! I need to come back! I want to be alive! I gotta read! It's always brought back to life as a wiener dog.
for some reason. I don't know, they may explain it, they may not, I don't really care, I don't think I'm going to continue watching this series. But that's the main thing, I didn't find it funny. I don't know if it's just me, but the humor kind of felt weird. I mean, the only real joke that they really had going for it was this joke of, oh, this, uh, Kirehime has small breasts. Ha ha, look at how small her breasts are. They're not big at all. Ha 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 ha. Oh, women are only good for their breasts. Yeah, fuck you too. I mean, really? We're going that route? Okay, that was sort of funny in Slayers, but here... Uh, and the whole fact that this woman, this Kirihime, uh, buys this dox, this dachshund, buys, uh, yeah, these names, buys Kazuhito to, uh, because she hears his voice, I guess they have some kind of connection, she's able to, like, hear his thoughts, and they're able to communicate that way, but she, like, at first, like, tries to, like, kill him with the scissors, but not really, she kind of just ties him up in a bag, on a screen, and, like, coming from a dog lover, no. No. You do not, you know, comedically play on the fact that this woman is trying to skin a dog, or to cut open his belly to see all his dog guts. No! 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 Don't do that! That would be as if somebody was being a sadist to a cat. And even if they were, make it be, like, comedic. This girl, this Kirihime, has little to no emotion. Her range of vocal cords is just goes like, Will you die now? I believe it's time for you to die. I'm sure that she's a great voice actress and done a bunch of other animes before, but... Honest to God, put a little oomph in your voice. If you're going to be a, sat a sadist, then really be a sadist. This is supposed to be a wacky mystery comedy, although I didn't really see where the mystery comes in. And apparently this is also going to be a harem, judging by the opening and ending sequence, having, like, an idol girl, that one girl that kept on saying she's sorry for breathing the same air. I never liked those characters. They seem boring and one-dimensional. And, like, after Kirihime finds out that the wiener dog uh, was the same guy, Kazuhito, who saved, who saved her, even though she didn't really have that much of a reaction during the event, but apparently it affected her some subconsciously or something, I don't know. All I can say is that this is a really weak for a comedy anime series. I didn't find it funny. I found it slightly insulting and a little bit disturbing at times. Not even disturbing. I mean, if you're going to go disturbing, and go all the way, but I don't think that was... Never mind. Anyways, uh, yeah, that was my mini-review of Dog X Scissors. And, and the guy, and, like, right away, like, the anime, like, tells, tells us through, uh... Kazuhito uh, tells us, like, uh, oh, I'm a big fan of this book series called The Seven Deadly Sins by one of my favorite authors, and she goes by, like, a pen name, and, like, I really love his work, and, like, right away, right away, the audience can automatically tell, it's gonna be the girl with the scissors. Like, she's on the, she's on the box summary there, you see her there with the scissors, there's no way that it isn't her. I mean, Really? I mean, Dog X Scissors, weak comedy. Wouldn't say I would recommend it. I mean, if you're interested and want to see what new anime are going to be coming out, I guess. Uh, passing interest, check it out if you want to, see if you like it. But overall, I can't really give a recommendation. Well, i got to get back to work on Umineko Part 2. Still a, lot to, still a lot of work to do on that. Well, this is the manga, man. Signing off.